I wanted to make today's episode all about motivation, understanding where you're going. Because I've had a bit of a stress for a few weeks and I've been looking for a bit of inspiration and I found some. And I want to share that with you because it can be really hard in this industry. It can be really hard to keep going, particularly when you feel like no one's on your side or you're not sure how to get to where you want to get to. You're not alone. I want to start off with that. This is how every filmmaker feels. And what I want to do is show you three different places that you can find inspiration. The first one that I want to tell you about is South by Southwest keynotes. These are just the best. I find these talks like the top of the top because they are real people and they're telling real stories and they're people that we will aspire to be. There are two in particular that I want to draw you to. The first one is Gareth Edwards. Gareth Edwards is a Hollywood director, a British Hollywood director who started with his first feature film Monsters. And Monsters were made with a tiny crew. I'm talking like three to four people and two actors. His story is really interesting. I don't want to tell you everything because I'll be here all day. But in a nutshell, he went through all the troubles that we all do. You know, he knew what he was capable of, but no one would believe in him. And he's just now directed, you know, Rogue One. He's directed Godzilla. This is a great place to start with, just to get you feeling like you are not alone. And actually that you can get to where you want to get to. You just have to keep going. He hadn't even made his first film until he was 31. So if you're 31, I'm sorry about that. But if you're below 31, then hopefully that gives you just a bit of encouragement. And even if you're older than 31, like you're never too old to make it in this industry. It's all about telling the story. Another great keynote by South by Southwest again is Mark Duplass. He is a producer, director, actor, writer, all of the above. Similar again, I've not watched this talk in a little while, but I remember watching it and really feeling like, yes, basically. Because there's one line particular that I remember where he says, the cavalry isn't coming. It is hard to feel like you've got to constantly push without the support of others who are reaching down to help you. But what you've got to remember is that there is a support network on your level. Um, it's as simple as this, you have to earn it tenfold and prove it time and time again. And when you get there, that's when everyone comes to you and you're going to be saying, well, yeah, you know, but I could have done all this ten years ago. But you hadn't, and that's the thing. You can't just go on potential, you have to show that every time. And that is my second tip. When you're feeling unmotivated, uninspired, get making, get creating. Just go there, it doesn't matter what, just take a camera, a lens and go film something. I want to leave a little link up here to a video that my friend Sam has made that just nails this, you know. When you are in that moment, you just want to create, go do it. And that is also what leads me on to point number three. Find that network of support, go and make things with them, but also just hang out with them. Be around people that are similar to you and draw strength from that, draw encouragement from that. You'll start talking to them and you'll realise they just want to go make something and a week later you're shooting something. Once you've shot it, then you get into a festival, who knows what happens. A big one though, and I actually put this down possibly more important than all the others, is exercise. You might think, well, I'm a filmmaker, I don't need to exercise. You do. Everyone should exercise because it is so good for your energy levels. I am saying this and I plan to go do a run in a second, but I'm having to wait for my headphones, which I've just put in the washing machine. Real smart move. It is such an important thing. And look at Casey Neistat, why do you think he runs all the time? Because it keeps him motivated, it keeps him going, keeps him fit, keeps him healthy, keeps the endorphins up. Healthy mind, healthy body, healthy attitude. Do a gym class, that way you sign up, you're committed. You're not gonna bail on that, or you shouldn't anyway. And that will get you there. And you know, that way you are getting pushed. Then you're gonna come home and you're gonna wanna work. You're gonna wanna get back on that horse. And that, for me, is what helps you get that motivation back. It's about, you know, staying connected with other people is not isolating yourself. Using your time effectively to make sure that you are healthy and happy. So, and it's about finding inspiration and similarities in others who are where you want to get to and seeing that at some point they were where you are. And at times they still will be there because it is hard being a filmmaker. Even when you get to the top, I imagine there's going to be loads of trials, loads of things to work through. But I think it's really important that you do stay motivated. And this is really important to filmmaking. You might think this vlog isn't a filmmaking tip one, but if you are a freelance filmmaker, 100% you have been in this mindset or you will be. It is important and just for your own well-being to make sure that you are keeping yourself motivated and you're doing these things. I hope that helps, I really do. All right guys, I'm gonna see you Thursday.
Terror. Start the day.